Jordan Turuna Riga is off to Fulham on deadline day. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hertha Berlin Master League. We're almost at the end of the season. This is the penultimate episode. In a couple days, we will have the season finale. Very excited. Let's get into the press conference here. First off, from Avila Tembani, Manny Morlanis hasn't had a lot of playing time. Do you plan on playing him this season? Yes. Manny Morlanis has unfortunately been a bit of a casualty to Joe Willock being so incredible. That said, I will be looking to play Marlanis more, especially in this episode. He has good defensive qualities and Vladimir Dorita has declined from 79 to 77. So he is on his way out of the starting lineup. So I can see Marlanis playing a bit more. So yes, great suggestion. We'll be seeing more Manny Marlanis. Bryzer here. Harit is a player that can connect really well with a striker like Matthias Cunha and my Schalke save the combo of Ja Pedro and Harit has 66 goals and assists. How do you like using the Moroccan? So Amin Harit has had a bit of a struggle adjusting so far. You can see his quality on the ball, but it's going to take a little bit longer for him to really integrate with this team. Remember he came mid-season to a team that was already performing fairly well without him. I do have a lot of faith in Harit, but I really think next season's where we'll see him take his game to the next level. Big shout out to my man Bule from South Africa. Really awesome comment here. He says him and his friends watch the series. I really appreciate it, guys. He's asking if I think I have the best Master League series. That's not for me to decide. I'm just so happy you guys are enjoying it and having fun. I have so much fun knowing people are watching these games and having a good time with it. So I'm gonna keep it coming, keep making some really fun content for you guys. Really appreciate everyone watching these videos. The FB Pokal quarterfinals against Leipzig. All right, Cunha. Harit, Angelwesen, Marcelo, Willock, and Derrida, Ibanez, Lukai, Amabalde, Lukanet, and Sholau will actually start this one in goal. We're going to reward him for what he played earlier. The Epico Car Corner Finals, Leipzig hosting Hertha Berlin. Yes, it is. The referee points to the spot. 
Danny Olmo with the foul there, or Mama Baldi. Oh, yes, that's a clear foul. Oh, it's saved by Stecklenburg. And there it is, 2-2. Two -two. We're heading extra time. All right, we're taking off Cunha. He is very tired. Wilson, through the middle. Strike, shot out. Good start. Bali. Wilson. Oh my God, shot out is keeping us in it. You get it? Oh my God. Oh, the walk high. Oh, wait, we look beat. We look completely fatigued. Back. There it is. Coulson makes it 3 2. I'm out in the quarterfinal stage one. Plays better than last year. We lose an extra time to Leipzig 3 2. All right, we're out of the cup. Bayern Munich over Freiburg 2 0. Stuttgart over Gladbach 1 0. Dortmund 1 0 over Schalke. And there's our extra time loss to Leipzig. Haller Aller here. Newbell is not doing well. Do you plan to give Schola more time? Now, Alexander Newbell did make a mistake, I thought, in that Dortmund game where he allowed Haaland to score. I thought he could have saved it. Schola had a great game. An incredible game in the one game that he played after we lost Danny Martin. But I have faith in Newbell. I'm going to give him this half of the season to figure it out. Schola was on the decline, so I don't see him as a long-term option. But his performance that last time out can earn him potentially a chance to be our backup keeper for the future. Success Wilcox here. Enjoying how the team works together with how good most of your players are. Any standout player you'd like to build a team around? Really good question here. So I don't know if there's a player I want to build the entire team around. I think there are standouts across the pitch, however. Luca Nets at left back. What we're seeing from him as an 18 year old left back, incredible. Felix Oduokai coming in has completely transformed our defense in one season. What a player. Joe Willock in midfield, I did not expect him to be this good. He's breaking up everything in midfield. He's getting forward and attack a bit more. I hope we can secure a long term deal for him and bring him over permanently from Arsenal. And then up top, obviously, you got Matthias Kuna, you got Abu and Zibo, you got Mike Treasure. It's hard to really pick who's been the real standout. I would say, though, this season, Joe Willock and Matthias Kuna and Felix Sudokai, those three have really been impressive. All right, here we are at the WWK Arena. Augsburg hosting Hertha Berlin. And oh, Nubel had to make a stop there. Block to Tressel, oh, it's a great ball through. Mama Balde, oh, he's headed away. And Marcelo, oh, punch! And Zibo, Harry, Joe goal! There you go! His first goal for the club, and what a goal it is! Joe Willock with a wonder strike with the left foot. We have the lead. Behind the nets for this view here, Harit into Willock. Great touch. What a finish. Willock. Oh, that's a mistake there. Strike! Oh, what a strike. Just wide. Marcelo Treasure. Oh. For the kick. Inside. Oh. Confusion there. Cut off the line, basically. And Augsburg come the other way. Great ball through. Oh, Nubel. The great show. Nubel. Great stop. has to make that tackle there. It's completely beaten. Hopefully he's not sent off. Okay. Oh no, one one. Ah! Frustration. Kaniguri puts it in the top corner. The worst time to concede. It's one one. A read. Kunya again hits the woodwork. He is cursed. Ah, oh, just taking away there. Oh, it 
it's wide from Jensen. Back into space. And Zibo. Cunha. Ejaria. Ejaria! Puts it wide. He connects. Jensen over the bar. Completes it. It's 1 1 here. Still in the mix with this group though. Lawson Elijah here. When will you sign a world class goalkeeper, or world class striker? I think when the funds permit. Right now, in terms of the front line, I do think I need a little bit more help so we can be a bit more consistent, but we're getting better and better every game. So we have to see what that means in the summer. As for goalkeeper, we just brought in Newbell. Of course, he's not world class, but I think he can grow. I'm excited for his future here. Hertha Berlin, will we make history and get to the Champions League or Europa League? Well, Hertha Berlin have been in Europe before. It's not like they haven't done this before. They played Chelsea in like the year 2000, I believe. So I do think we can make Europe though. I'm seeing a lot of potential in this team. However, because of how Pez works and the fact that you can't adjust the amount of European spaces for the fake league, which is the German league, obviously, we have to finish top four to even have a chance at the Europa League. So let's see what happens. And Joe Willock's performances has certainly caught the eye of many elite teams around Europe, not to mention Hertha themselves. He has been potentially their player of the season so far. Doing everything in midfield, he's showing technique, he's showing defensive ability, he's been calm on the ball, he's been a real presence in the middle of the pitch. And Arsenal right now interested in bringing him back, but Hertha do have an option to buy for around 20 million euros. We'll see if we can negotiate anything there. But Joe Willock has been an absolute revelation here in Berlin. The young Englishman following the footsteps of Jaden Sancho and Drew Bellingham before him and coming to the Bundesliga making a real name for himself. All right, up next, we're taking on Union Berlin. All right, Messias and Zero, Cunha, Harit, Melanis, Willock, Udokai Bayata, Mama Baldi, and Luca Nets. New Berlin goal. Here we are, Hertha Berlin, Union Berlin, the Berlin Derby. Two teams on opposite ends of the table. Hertha looking to finish strong, hopefully finish in Europe. Harit can't get there. Becker. Nets. That's a foul. Okay, take it quickly, push out, bro. And what a stop from Nuba. Nuba. He connects. Great ball. He's found Matthias Cunha and they bypass the entire defense for Union Berlin. Matthias Cunha. One now. as well no double jeopardy oh we're good so it's a booking Ingvartsen Alexander Newbell against Campos and Newbell again oh we may have a legend on our hands oh he turns too easily oh my god it's right today cuts it back and oh boy one again that's a dangerous pass good pressuring but did it get all the way through oh new man is a brick wall what a stop from point black range we're defending really poorly right now at the back and oh it was coming wasn't it we waste Nubel's amazing keeping. Poor defending from us. Ingvartsen scores. It's 1 1. Apu trying to slip Messias through. 
They do not connect there. What up? Harry. Quinnia! Messias, oh my word, what? Ah. He's doing everything right. You know once he gets that first goal, things will start getting easier. Molanis. Great ball for Manny Molanis. At the second time of asking in Zibo. A boy Zibo. Mateus Cunha. Finally we get our second. 2-1, we're back in front. And there it is, half time. 2-1, a double from Cunha. Selfish there. Back in. Oh, referee! It's, how is that not a foul? Arit. Still here. Trying to get the corner. Dawood is in there. Good there. One touch. And oh, no. That's all right. 88 minute. to score. Still getting these ups. Mateus Cunha, great game from him. We are now in sixth position, hanging out around there, two points behind Leverkusen. Cunha's up for five days, so that sucks. Gonna have to play without him. And another question here from Yeet. What do you think about buying Jonathan Ta from Bayer Leverkusen? I am not too sure about this. I'll tell you why. We already brought in Roger Ibanez. I really like what we're seeing from Uduokai. Not sure if Ta is willing to come here to be the third string center back. Especially when I want to develop Kaike Taborda, our young Brazilian center back, and maybe make a transfer in the summer. So we will see. You know, that's something that's interesting. Another awesome question coming in here from Will. How much did the shock losses of Danny Martin and Jordan Torunariga change transfer window plans? Are there any players or types of players you've missed out on due to changing plans to sign replacements for those two? Yes, indeed. We were initially looking at bringing in a holding midfielder and bringing in an attacking player, whether on the wings or in the middle. We had a couple options that we were looking at. I won't reveal them because we still want to look for that maybe in the summer. But those two transfers really shook up our plans. We had to react quickly. I think we did an okay enough job. It's been an absolutely disastrous season so far for Juan Jose Macias. The Mexican forward has yet to score or register an assist for Hertha Berlin. Extremely disappointing following what was a very successful preseason for him. Macias has struggled to adapt to the Bundesliga. There are rumors that he's homesick and he's just not adjusted to life here. Zabi was hoping that the Spanish language connection between him and Macias would at least kind of help him settle but Macias not having a good time. Hertha, on the other hand, have been streaking. They're in really good form. And Macias' performances have gone somewhat under the radar, but he's coming under more scrutiny now. There are already rumors of a loan deal back to Mexico. We will see what happens, but it's a bit disappointing as Hertha have invested quite a bit of money after chasing Macias for two seasons. And he had just not been up to par. My grab back will be an interesting challenge, especially Without Kudnia Bashiwai, he's not doing too great coming back from 
his injury. So we're actually going to play with no true forward today. And let's see how that goes. We're going to drop Harry into midfield. Bring Dilverson in. All right. Gladback hosting Hedda here from Lucia Park. You know you can't give Tresno any opportunity to strike. Free kick here. Oh, it's just fine. Wider again, moved in again, header, new back. Maybe there. Wider. Great football. There is end back inside. This is everyone. As a freak. Tressor. Oh, summer. Corner kick. My Tressor. Unmarked in the box. 1-0. Oh, Ibanez, good take. And Roger Ibanez. Roger Ibanez. Good run from the defender. Marcelo. Benzio. Oh, no. Maybe he had an argument there. Marcelo. Oh, Udokai. And he's brought down. Is that in the box? It is! Oh, ho, ho. Felix Udokai goes on a long run up the pitch and gets fouled. Penalty kick. We've seen him miss. We've seen him score. Buries that one. His second of the match and it's 2-0. here from Marcelo. Abu and Zibo on the counter. He just can't catch him. He finishes with a pass summer. Oh. Minister starts sleeping there. It's whipped in. Header. Oh. It goes wide. Lisan Blavich. A real statement here from Hertha so far. 3 0 up at half time without Mateus Cunha, mind you. Tresho with the double. Gorke Chea. Gorke Chea! Shomin! Gorke Chea! His first goal for the club! Oh, you're never gonna forget that one! What a finish! Brilliant, I can't even trigger the celebration! <laughs> what a goal! Brilliant stuff! Wow! Minish that whips it in. Look at Shomin Koikoi Chea. The Spaniard with a brilliant acrobatic finish here. Look at this. Beautiful. Secure a 4 0 victory. A double from Tresho, Abu and Zibu. And then a wonder strike from 17 year old Shomin Koikoi Chea. 4 0. Petra Berlin. Petra Berlin hosting Stuttgart here at the Olympus Stadion. Petra. Freaking up the table. European dreams will they be achieved. They have to keep winning. Let's see how they fare against Stuttgart. Juggle up. Cunha. Is it behind Derrissen? Who gets there anyway? Marcelo as well. Great football. Here's Derrissen. Senses danger. Cuts back. He's become such a good footballer. Juggle up. Speaking of good footballers. Volley from Tresor. Ah, oh, it's a little hard. as well. Marcelo. Next. Find my chest sword. 
Mike Treasure. Jabari Nelson. And there it is. What a goal. Great counter from Hertha Berlin. And Jefferson gets a goal. Oh, good tackle from Molanis. Jefferson. Cunha. Yeah, just gets through there. Treasure. It's in Kudia! Oh, there it is, 2 0. And reminiscent of Gorky Chea's recent goal, Kudia gets a basket kick of his own. We are streaking here. Great football. Treasure with his second assist of the match is in the mood today. But Kudia, look at that. Great finish. Really good football being played today, huh? To go up. Jefferson. Kudia! Tressel! Oh, oh, oh! Champagne football. Excellent stuff here. Hertha Jess. They've become such a better team. Look at that from Cunha. Tressel goes near post. Keep ahead of coverage. And Uruokai. Oh, wow, what a stop. Jogola. Oh, oh my god. What a goal that could have been. But look at this from Jogola. Imagine. Wow, that was so close. Try to catch them off guard. Maybe we're doing another way. Great ball from Derrison. Matthias Cunha. No. Get the rebound. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, good touch. Back post. 2-1. Good ball. And Castro finishes. Steve guard back in it. And there it is. Half time. 2-1 Hertha. Berlin over VFP Sticker. Switched over. Luke the Nets falls asleep and Silas in the back post. Novell hits the crossbar. Well, Kamalanis again combining well. Water. Cunha may be offside here. He's not. Gets past his man, Mateus Cunha. Marcelo. Oh my god. It stopped and punched away. And that's a foul. And that's a foul. Mike Treasure here. We've seen his magic all season long. And that one is brilliant. 3 1. And that will do it. Three points. Really happy with this performance. 3 1 over Stuttgart. And up next, we take on Bayern Munich. What a game for that man, Mike Treasure. Look at this title race. We are kind of in it. We are kind of in it. And you know what? We play Bayern Munich now. Valde, Ibanez, Uruokai, Nets, Merlanis coming into midfield. Really good performance on him last time out. I know it's a big match. I know it's crazy to bench the reader. He is getting on there in age though. So we're going to go with Manny Merlanis, Joe Willock, Amin Hari, Tresor, Cunha, Dilrosen, who is doing so well right now. The Allianz Arena and Hertha Berlin are somehow trying to enter the title race here. They face off against Bayern Munich. All right, we're underway. Siala. No wasting any time. Nabri. Connects and serves Nabri will be a good battle. Oh, Musiala. Already putting the moves on. Nabri. Cuts back. Whipped in. And Ibanez. Gets there, falls out. Harit. Five minutes. Dominating here. Melanis played behind it. Oh, and they hit the post for Retzka. By Manur. Kuman. Ibanez clears. It's Amin Harit. And Harit with a brilliant pass. And Kurnia around Manuel Nur. And it's 1 0 at the Allianz Arena. Hertha Berlin. Ibanez with the clearance, Hertha moving so quickly. Brilliant stuff there from Harry. Kunya gets in, gets past Nuru and finishes well. Luciala. Well up. Can you complete the tackle? Davies. Back inside header. Luga. Playing his former team, of course. Only played with a few games so far, but it's been really good. But he is going to be a busy man tonight. Lewandowski, blocked by Roger Ibanez. It's not it back. 
Musiala! Oh, he hits the post as well! End-to-end -end stuff so far. Musiala, look at this. This kid is so talented. Molanis. Mama Pade, what am I going through? Anderson, it's 2-0! Oh my god, it's 2-0! Hertha Berlin 2, Bayern Munich now after 17 minutes. This is incredible. Jim Barber Dilmerson out on loan last year. He's a change player this season. And we are up 2-0. Brilliant pass here from Mama Baldi. Like a genius pass, really. Spinning the defense. Dilmerson finishes with his weaker foot and it's 2-0. Duokai gets a clear. Tressa. Luciana. Oh my god, they get one back. Sage Nabri, 21 minutes in, and it's three goals already. 2 1. And Nabri. Luciana. Lewandowski alone in the middle. Oh, that's dangerous. Kevin still on his feet. Deflected by Malanis. Headed away. And played out. Kyrie. I mean, Arik, brilliant pass again, Cunha, and Neuer is off his line. Oh, no, Mateus, that's a poor touch. Nagri, well, oh, it's deflected there. Oh, wow, Diverson taken out by Goretzka, that should be a booking. Look at this, Diverson gets rid of the ball here, and he takes the brunt of Goretzka's tackle. Two, one and a half time, more than we could ever ask for. Cunha and Diverson early, Nagri grabbed one back. Let's see if we can hold on in the second half. Boateng, almost lost it. Go play it in. Lewandowski turns. He got punches. Come and gets it back in. Lewandowski's there. And it's off the crossbar. It's Goretzka actually. This time is now Goretzka's header. Kimmich. Nabri. And. It out. Back in, come on! What do you got? What do you got? Oh, that's not a foul. Ooh. Oh, look at you, Rokai! But he still loses the ball. And who Lewandowski? Clear. Oh, Sammy. It in! Header! Oh! Oh, Bamayan puts it up in the bar. Ah! No, 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 no! <laughs> Alexander Nubel catches it! And we have come to Munich and defeated Bayern 2-1! The title race is on! A five-team title race, we've opened it up here. Could you believe it? We are in fourth place. We're now three points behind Bayern Munich. We're eight points behind Leipzig, so uh, maybe a bit premature to say anything about a title race, but we are really in the hunt right now. We are in the Europa League places. And a famous victory for Hertha Berlin has their fans dreaming on a level we have not seen in recent or even far history. Hertha Berlin winning 2-1 in Munich. What a performance. This team had just gone from strength to strength under Zabi Alonso. Hard to believe this is the same team that last year struggled to even finish 11th in the Bundesliga. They're playing free-flowing football. The team is beginning to gel. Last season, Zabi asked the fans to be patient. And this year, he is proving it. What a result. Hertha have an outside shot of potentially challenging for the league title, which sounds absolutely crazy. But that's where we are right now. Great stuff from Hertha and Zabi Alonso. What a streak we've been on here. 2-1 over Union Berlin, 4-0 over Gladbach, 3-1 over Stuttgart, and 2-1 over Bayern Munich. Now, we take on Leipzig, who are top of the table to end the episode. All right, here's our lining up to take on Leipzig, Diverson, Cunha, and Tressel up top, Harit, Willock, and Derrida in midfield. Middlestadt coming in for Luka Nets, who's not in good form, Uduokai, Ibanez, and Zafrik. It is a title contending matchup. Yes, you heard that right. Hertha Berlin coming off a series of four wins in a row. Now take on the team at the summit of the Bundesliga table. 
with only a few games back to go. What a season, what a job Zabi's done this year. Hertha seem to be clicking at the right time. Leipzig, of course, they've been near the top all season long. Can they hold on? Oh, it's a good one through! Ah, and Kunku makes it 1 0. And I mean, Harit! Oh, she tripped up. Kunia, that's a foul. And you know what that means? My treasure time. My treasure time. Ah, it's over the bar. Umo. Davida reads it perfectly. And plays it through. My treasure. Kunia's in the middle. Bearing on goal. Played inside. Matthias Kunia. Deflected. And the rebound's in. 1 1. And yeah, there's the foul. Not sure, but Mike Treasure actually. Ah, we're gonna go with Cunha. Matthias Cunha steps up. Oh, it saved. We should have let Treasure take it. So Victor turns well. Pulsen. Oh, Nibas. 1 1. Probably a fair result in the end. Right there. Tie here with the league leaders. We'll see what our title chances really look like, but we do belong in this group. We proved it this season. Really, really, really happy. That man there, Roger Ibanez, has been so good. All right, so Bayern Munich win. That's important. Dortmund also win. Frankfurt lose. And Leverkusen lose. So that's very good for our European chances. So let's see. We're in fourth place, and now we have a two-point gap on Leverkusen. There are three points separating first and third. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Who do you think is going to win the Bundesliga? Should be a very, very interesting finale. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Stay safe. And I will see you guys next time.